स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया In an earlier lecture, we've seen the notion of an isomorphism of groups. Now, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about homomorphisms of groups. It's a slightly more general notion uh, given to groups G and H. A homomorphism from G to H is a function F from G to H which basically takes the group structure of G and transfers it to the group structure of H namely F of G1 G2 is F of G1 times f of g2 for all g1 g2 in g okay so let's look at some basic properties of homomorphisms uh, so the most uh, uh, fundamental property of a homomorphism is that it must take the identity of g to the identity of h so f of identity of g is equal to identity of h and why is this true well um, so f of identity of g is equal to well identity of g is identity of g into identity of g right so it's equal to f of identity of g into identity of g and then using this homomorphism property here what we get is it's f of identity of g into f of identity of g so f of identity of g is an element of h and this element has a property that it is equal to uh, what you get when you multiply it by itself and now remember in groups we have this cancellation property so this implies that f of identity of g is equal to identity of h you just cancel out this here with this here okay now um, another property of uh, group homomorphisms is that um, they preserve inverses okay so uh, f of x inverse is equal to f of x inverse for every x in g i leave this as an exercise for you. okay it's fairly straightforward and let's look at some examples to get a feeling for this so look at the group uh, z with addition and take h to be the group z mod n z residue class is mod n with addition then uh, f taking an element g or maybe x goes to its residue class mod n which i'll write x plus nz is a homomorphism this is a straightforward consequence of the way addition is defined in the group uh, z mod nz so i won't uh, say too much about it okay so that's one example and uh, here's another example uh, from linear algebra so you take g to be the group of all matrices uh, uh, a say n by n matrices uh, let's say with real entries such that determinant of a is non-zero then we know that if determinant of a is non-zero then um, a is in invertible matrix so this forms a group under multiplication 
and the matrix multiplication. And uh, you, def you take H to be the group of non-zero real numbers under multiplication. Then F G to H defined by uh, F of A equals determinant of A is a homomorphism of groups. Now let's look at a slightly more interesting example. We already know about this group SN permutations on N letters. Now uh, I'll define a homomorphism from this to the group of the previous uh, page. Uh, let's give this a name. So let's call this group, well, so G, uh, when I say G, I'm going to talk about this group G of um, invertible matrices, n by n matrices with real entries. Okay, and so G equals A belongs to M and R, such that determinant of A is non-zero. So that's a group under multiplication. And I'm going to define it the following way. So, um, so let uh, E i in R n be the vector given by um, zero, zero, zero everywhere except for a one in the ith row. It's just a column vector with a one in the ith position. So E1, E2, E3, these are all uh, basis vectors for Rn, if you think of them as column vectors. And so given a permutation W in Sn, define Ew to be the matrix uh, I'll give it as a block matrix. Uh, each the first column of this matrix is E W one. The second column is E W two, and so on. Okay, so let's just take an example here. So take n equals three. Take W to be the permutation two one three. So that means W one is two. W two is one and w3 is 3. Then what is Ew? Ew is the matrix whose first column has 1 in the second uh, row, the second column has 1 in the first row, and the third column has 1 in the third row. Okay, so I claim that this is a group homomorphism. To prove this, um, we'll just show that um, if we take, so we want to show that, so that we're calling this, um, we're calling this map W goes to EW, let's give it a name. Let's just call it F. So we need to show that f of w1, w2, so we need to show that this is f of w1, f of w2. Or in other words, E subscript w1, w2, is this equal to Ew1 multiplied by Ew2. Now this Ew1 multiplied by Ew2 is an n by n matrix. And E W1, W2 is also an n by n matrix. We want to know if these n by n matrices are equal. So what we can do is we can check if E W1, W2 multiplied by E i, this column vector with 1 in the i row, whether this is equal to E W1 
multiplied by EW2 multiplied by EI. Okay, so this is what we need to prove. For all I. 1 to N. But the point is that EW times EI is just E subscript WI. You can check this by using matrix multiplication. So EW1 EW2 times EI is EW1 times W2 times EI. Well, that's EW1 EW2I, but that's EW1 W2I, which is the same as EW1 W2 EI, as claimed. Okay. Now I'll uh, end this uh, uh, recording with uh, by listing a few um, basic properties of homomorphisms. So the first rather obvious is that a homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if it is a bijection. Okay, so what I'm saying is that um, isomorphisms are bijective homomorphisms. That's more or less from the definition of an isomorphism of groups. Okay, secondly, for any group G, the identity map. i from g to g. So this is the map which takes i of x to x is a group homomorphism. So I'll say homomorphism or group homomorphism interchangeably. You'll see later in this course that there are other kinds of homomorphisms. And um, if F is a group homomorphism from G to H and G from H to K is another group homomorphism. Then G circle F from G to K is also a group homomorphism. Okay, I'm sure you can check all of these properties quite easily by yourself. So I'm not going to go into the proofs. Um, instead, I'll give you some exercises on the homework which will help you um, solidify your understanding of group homomorphisms. Mm -hmm.